Okay, so this is problem number 12 from chapter 5 on op amps. And we have um, three signals going in. First signal is going in across a 44K. Second signal is going in across a um, 27.5K. And then there's an 80K. There's a feedback resistor of 220K and um, a 3.3K over here on the output. Um, and we want to know what configuration this is, and we want to find the output voltage, V out, if we have three signals as 1 volt, 1.5 volt, and negative 4 volt. And in part B, C, we need to find the limits of VB if, um, if we keep VA and VC the same, and we allow VB to vary. So what are the limits um, before the signal uh, saturates? for the voltage saturates. Okay, so part A. In part A, if you look in your textbook, this looks exactly like figure 512. We have three signals coming in to the, um, the negative terminal, and the configuration is a summing op amp. So this is an inverting summing amplifier. Inverting because it's entering, the signal is entering the negative terminal. Inverting summing amplifier. Okay. Part B. Now that we know that it is the inverting summing amplifier, we can apply uh, fit formula 5.14, which is the inverting summing amplifier equation. And that equation says that if you have a summing amp an inverting summing amplifier, the signal is going to be R F over R A B A plus R F over R B V B plus R F over R C V C. And so we can just put in the numbers here. We have 220. The kilos will cancel themselves out. So we have 44 V A is 1 volt plus 220 over 27.5 times 1.5 plus 220 over 80 times negative 4. When you put that into your calculator, you should come up with negative 6 volts. So those those values of the in, incoming signal will give you a V out of negative 6 volts. Now we're going to allow VB to vary, and we're going to fix VA and VC. And we want to know what are the saturation, what are the limits of saturation, the saturation volts. So, um, V out is constrained by the uh, VCC, the power um, that you apply to the input, um, the power supply, uh, can't, it can't exceed 10 volts and it's, it can't be below negative 10 volts. So those will be the points of saturation. So then we use the inverting amplifier formula, which says that V out is negative V A negative R F R A V A plus RF, RB, VB, plus RF, RC, VC. In this case, everything is uh, a known quantity except for the, um, the VB values. So we have 44 over VA is going to remain, uh, 40, excuse me, 220 over 44 times 1 volt plus 220 over 27.5 VB plus 220 over 80 and VC is negative 4. When you simplify this, this reduces to 6, let's see. This will reduce to the equation 6 minus 8VB is equal to 
able to be out. Okay? So now we have, we solve for the two possibilities, the two points of saturation. It'll saturate a 10 volt at the maximum. So for the, this N of the V out limitation, we have 6 minus 8 V. VB is equal to 10. So therefore, VB is equal to negative 0.5 volts on that endpoint. Then on the other possibility, the other point of saturation is 6 minus 8 VB is equal to negative 10. And VB is going to be 2 volts. So our limits for VB is negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5 volts. And two volts. And that's the answer to problem 12.